Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson is Modeling Percents. Uh, don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. So when you go to that, you'll see all these classes I teach. I teach a lot of classes across there, but we're in the 6th grade link right there. So not this 6th grade link. This is for my California classes. So this one right here. So when you go to that and scroll down, you'll see I'll have it uploaded right here. So modeling percents right there. All right, so here's our, our common course strand for our teachers. And our question here is, how can we use a model to show percents? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So electric cars are on the rise. Some experts estimate that uh, by the year 2025, that 35% of all cars will be powered by electricity. Okay. All right. So a percent, you guys, is what's a, it's a ratio or fraction, you guys, or a rate that compares a number to 100. Percent usually means per 100. So, and this is our symbol for percent. So, uh, most of you guys probably knew that already. If you didn't, that's okay. So we're going to use a 10 by 10 grid here to model 35%. Okay. Now the reason why this is 10 by 10 is because there's a hundred little squares right here. So per 100, so we can do percent. Okay. So tell what uh, the percent 35% uh, means. Okay. So the large square represents the whole right here. So this is 100 squares or 100%. And then each of these small squares represents 1%. So we're going to go ahead and shade the grid that shows 35%. So 35 is 35 out of 100 per 100. Percent means per 100. Okay, so there's 35 squares that are shaded right there. Let's slide that up right there. Okay, so uh, to write 35% as a ratio comparing 35 to 100. Okay, so 35 out of 100 is, is uh, 100 squares is 35 hundredths right there. Okay, 35 hundredths is 35 per 100 right there. Okay, so let's um, uh, uh, see that 35% is 35 out of 100, and our answer our question here is by, by 2025, 35 out of 100 cars will be powered or may be powered by electricity. Do you think it's going to be exactly that? Probably not but somewhere around 35%, maybe more, maybe less, who knows? Okay, so here, let's model 52% on this 10 by 10 grid. So what we're gonna do is shade 52 out of these squares. So here's 10, here's 20, 30, 40, 50, and then we'll shade two more right there. So there's 52 out of the 100 squares right there. So 52 out of 100 is the same as 52 hundredths. Let's do the same with 18. So here's 10 right here, and then we'll shade eight of these down to here. So that would be 18 out of 100 right there. Okay, and then so uh, 18 out of 100 represents 18 hundredths. Okay, all right, so um, let's answer some questions here. Explain how we can use a 10 by 10 grid to model 7%. All right, well, that's easy. We just shade 7 of the 100 squares of the, on the 10 by 10. All right, so model 1 fourth on a 10 by 10 grid, and what percent is shaded? Okay, no problem. Okay, remember, 1 fourth is the same as 25 hundredths, okay, because there's 25 times 4 equals 100. So 1 fourth is the same as 25 hundredths. And, and you guys probably knew, or some of you knew, that 1 fourth is the same as 25%. So let's shade 10, 20, and then five of these guys right there. So there's 25% right there, okay? All right, so here's a couple more questions. So how can we use, uh, uh, how could we model 0.5% on a 10 by 10 grid? Okay, this is not 5%. This is not 50%, it's 0.5%. 0.5% is half of 1%, okay? And so um, uh, 1 out of 100 would be one whole square, so we'd shade 1 half of 1 square. Let me enlarge that right there. So here is uh, 1 half of 1 square right there, okay? So we just shade, there's 0.5 of a percent right there, okay? All right. So uh, how could we model 181% using a 10 by 10 grid? Well, we'd model one full 100. Here's 100% right here, and then 81 right there. So here's 181% right there, okay? All right, so uh, write a ratio and, and percent to compare the shaded parts. Okay, so here the ratio is 
how many squares out of 100? Here's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 73. So the ratio would be 73 hundredths, and the percent is 73%. Remember, uh, percent is per 100. So here's 73 hundredths, so 73%. All right, this one's easy. All 100 are shaded, so the ratio is 100 over 100, or 100% 100 right there. Okay, so this one here, it's kind of hard to see. Let's enlarge this here. So I'll just sneak that up here. So here's 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 4 is 16 plus 4 is 20. All right, and then we get, um, uh, when we add those up right there, let's see, uh, did I say 20? Uh, here's 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There's 24 hundredths or 24 percent right there. All right, so this one here, you guys, is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So the ratio is 50 hundredths, so it's 50 percent right there. All right, you guys, quick lesson. I hope that makes sense, and take care. Say hi to your teacher for me.